How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student. And today we're going to be talking about my three year medically transitioning transformation while on testosterone. I'm going to give you the updates since my two year and my first year milestones have been met and some of the things I've noticed in this third year of being on testosterone and some things that I'm looking forward to for the future. Um, before we get started, here is a picture of what I look like the week before I started medically transitioning. I look a lot older, which I'm super happy about. In this picture, I was like maybe like 22 years old and I look like I was 12, 13, 14. Now I actually look a little bit closer to the age that I am. I'm 25 right now. And when I ask people, how old do you think I am? I get from, from the ranges of 18 to 25. So. I look a lot more like my age as a masculine presenting trans person. The next big update is my voice. This is what I sounded like within my first couple of weeks on testosterone. Hey guys, my name is Ben and this is my voice, two days on testosterone. And this is how I sound like now. My name is Ben and I am three years on testosterone. So even when it comes to my voice, I sound much less like a teenager and much more like an adult and I'm very very happy with how my voice has matured over the last three years. I feel like every year even though the first year had the most changes in my voice every year my voice gets more mature like it's less raspy it's less like a high school you know pre-pubescent post-pubescent boy and more like a grown adult so it's getting more mature it's getting more tonal quality I mean I'm not a music major or anything but it just sounds more clear as I get older and the longer I'm on testosterone. A lot of people also ask me about body hair and facial hair in general. Also, your mileage may vary based on your genetics and your environment when it comes to body and facial hair growth. But some of the things that I have noticed in this three year journey of being on testosterone is that a lot of people experience hair loss. I haven't really noticed any more significant hair loss since my first year on testosterone. Year two and three, almost no hair loss whatsoever. My hairline hasn't receded. I naturally have a big forehead. So, I mean, <laughs> everybody makes fun of my forehead size, but that's just how I was born. But other than that, there was a bit of like these temporal regions that re receded a little bit and went more towards a masculine pattern when I started in my first year of testosterone, but nothing much there else when it comes to, you know, androgen induced baldness. So nothing there. I'm very happy about that. I do take a couple of like medicated shampoos to help, you know, with the thickness of my hair because that is something I was worrying about when I first started tea. But as of right now on year three, I haven't really noticed that much of a difference when it comes to my hairline. As far as my facial hair, I have talked about my facial hair extensively in a lot of different videos, but my facial hair is still growing. It's getting thicker. It's, it's filling in, still hasn't completely filled in. And I mentioned this before, but it's really following the pattern of how my brother's facial hair, my cisgender brother's facial hair had you know, grown over time. It took him five years to fully actually become a connected beard. And I'm only on year three and it's slowly every couple of months, like almost every six months, it gets a little bit closer this way. And you also notice that it is getting denser. In my first year, you started noticing like mustache hairs. And at the end of my first year, I definitely did have like a similar beard pattern, but those hairs were definitely lighter. They weren't as dense, they weren't as coarse. And I was applying things like minoxidil, Rogaine to help it grow. But even after it growed in, it was still light and it was not coarse. But every year it gets more coarser, it gets more dense and it fills in more. So I'm really looking forward to where my beard will go. Again, your mileage may vary, but that's as far as my beard growth is right now. It's still growing, it's still filling in. And every time it grows in a little, I get a bit of acne around where those hairs are growing. So that's how I know that my beard is still growing. I also really wanna point out that my beard looks unkempt and kind of gross right now. And that's because I kind of growed it out to help you see how much growth has been going on in my beard, but I am gonna shave it off tonight and make it more orderly. I just wanted to show the capacity of how it can actually grow in a matter of weeks. As far as body hair, 
I've noticed the most changes of body hair in the first year and a half. I got more hair on my forearms now and definitely a lot more hair on my thighs. Not a lot on my buttocks, honestly. I know a lot of trans masks talk about getting hair in their buttocks and not on their face. I don't really have that problem. My hair in the, my buttock region has always been pretty, 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 pretty stable. So I'm happy about that. But year three, I've noticed that these hairs, again, got coarser and denser. You can really see my hairs now. Not so, not so much on video, but you can really see how coarse and like thick they are when I take pictures and upload them on my Instagram page or Twitter. So these hairs have gotten coarser. I haven't really noticed any hair growth anywhere else in my body this year, but one area of my body that has been getting more and more hair lately is in my lower abdomen. I'll take a picture and post it up here somewhere, but my lower abdomen has been getting more and more hair this year. That's the most significant body hair changes that I've noticed in year three, but it's definitely happening and I can see a bit of a happy trail going on down there but we'll see where it goes it's still growing and i still see little changes here and there down in the lower abdominal hair region as far as bottom growth i think that really maxed out around year two it still was growing a little bit around the year two mark but not a lot of changes this year and as far as body recomposition i've actually seen quite a lot of changes in my body recomp in year three as much as i did in year one year one all my fat from my abdomen basically melted away but i was still getting a lot of dysphoria because i had i still had a lot of fat around my hips year three is when i saw that fat around the hips start to melt away there's still a little bit there but th this is something that i don't think that's emphasized enough in other like transition videos but body fat redistribution is actually not something that ends around year one it can take up to five years to have full body recon recomposition so my hips are finally starting to go down. My thighs are more masculine. So year three is when I actually started feeling really good about my body. I've been working out since I've started transitioning. You all know that if you've been following me on YouTube, but year three is when I'm finally starting to get the body that I really envision myself having as a growing boy. And also when it comes to weightlifting and weight loss and like just like exercising in general, it gets easier and easier to work out. It gets easier and easier to build muscle as you as as you like continue to take testosterone. The first year, yeah, you're gonna see those newbie gains, what I call like beginning gains, but then you kind of taper off and you have to stay consistent. But around year three, the testosterone for me is personally really like started helping me build a lot of muscle. I mean, if you've seen my one year post up video, you can see that I've really built some chest definition. And it was not just me going out and exercising. I think the T finally started, you know, doing its magic and helping me build more muscle and getting to that upper tier of, you know, having a more masculine physique the longer I'm on testosterone. As far as my menstrual cycle, I haven't had my menstrual cycle in three years. Since my first shot, my menstrual cycle completely went away. Again, this is very variant on who is taking testosterone. It's not everyone's experience, but I haven't had my menstrual cycle in three years, which is amazing. That was my one thing that gave me the most dysphoria. Also, I've noticed that I haven't had to take as high dosages of tea. I'm actually on a super low dose right now. I'm on 0.2 a week. And usually for most people, they're around 0.3 to 0.5 as a regular dose. So I'm on 0.2 and I'm still getting a ton of games and still I'm getting a ton of changes. So because my changes have kind of, you know, hit a steady state of going up, I can take a lower dose and I don't have to, you know, be reliant on testosterone as much as far as changes. So that's a really awesome thing that I've encountered on my third year on T. So anyways, that's a pretty big summary of the most major changes I've noticed three years on T. I'll probably make another yearly update video when I'm at four years and then at five years, and then I'll probably do five year increments since then. I hope you like this video. I hope you gain something from it. I hope you will share it with someone who may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life. I post almost every single day on those social media platforms. And this is more curated for your knowledge. And I'll see you on the next video. This is Ben.